That was pretty anticlimactic. I'm disappointed, to be honest. Hmm. Well, can't always win. You don't always get what you want. You can try sometimes, but you just get hit in the face with the door. Ooh, pre-war hat of fanciness. It sounds like there is a camera somewhere. Hello there, couchman. God, I hate terminals. Invented. No. Reported. No. Informed. Hmm. Recorded. No. Why are all the locks harder than the terminals? Doesn't make much sense. Hmm. Well, that's about all there is in here. Let's, like, after the most disappointing area, who's he, what's it? Yeah. I've ever been to. Lockbox area. You know what I'm talking about. Stop judging me. Oh god. That's a demon. Run, Abraham, run. Marty, what are you doing? <sighs> Marty, run. Hmm. Is there anything else for me to do in here? Doesn't look like it. Well, that was a really good waste of, like, what was that, an hour? Wow. What do you have for us? Holy crap. I am apparently... I don't know where I was going with that, but it had something to do with kicking those things like a champ. I am at a loss for English right now. Don't judge me, please. Find some headgear with goggles. Moira Brown has everything. Let's go talk to her. Megaton. And I'll also pick up some ammo. Because I seem to not have enough shotgun ammo. Nope. So why are you talking to me? Awesome waiting time. You know what? I've got this glass of water sitting right next to me and I feel like it would be a shame just to not have a shameless plug in the middle of it. So you know what, why not? So, for those of you wondering, this video is sponsored by Tap Water. Tap Water. Uh, it's delicious. Oh, Abraham, calm down. Dude. Oh, I can't wait to hear how the repellent's working. <sighs> All right, yeah, I tested it on a few. Just a few? Well, I'm sure it'll be good enough. So, how did my chemical repellent work? Safe and clean like a charm, I bet. Sure. Intelligence. You added too much chemical stimulant. The result was rather explosive. Explosive, you say? That's kind of impressive, actually. In a horrible sort of way, at least. I guess it's back to the drawing board for that repellent. If I can make it into some sort of food. Anyway, I'll just take it. <laughs> anyway. Oh, but for your trouble. Um, here, have the leftover chems from working on the repellent. I'm sure you can find some use for them. I'm sure. Last well, part of the chapter is on my alerts, right? Yes, knowing more about them can help people learn to avoid or even outsmart them. So I picked up this observer device to study them in their natural habitat. I need you to hide one in one of the spawning pods in their lairs. Alright. That's great. 
I recommend the nest at the Anchorage War Memorial. I knew a trader who talked about the Meyer Alerts down there. Just go inside and find one of their spawning pods, probably down near the water. Put this observer inside and get out quietly. And be sure not to kill any Meyer Alerts. Hmm. If you do, it could ruin the validity of the study. All right. Well, let's talk to you about buying some stuff. What do you need? Helmets with goggles. Uh, uh, motorcycle helmet. That is possibly the greatest thing ever. Thank you, Moira. Now, how much shotgun ammo, ammo do you have? Stim packs, nice. Some robot spare parts. I'll take some of those. Um, broken protect protectron, damaged garden gnome. Hmm. Musings of Moira, crazed inventor. Oh, why not? Mechanist newsletter. Thank you for giving me that for free. Working, Mr. Handy. I'd rather have a Mr. Gutsy. Just saying. Nothing against Mr. Handy's though. I mean, they're fantastic, but, you know, Mr. Gutsy's, yeah, I like them. I like them quite a bit. Now, what can I give to you? Well, I'm glad you asked, Moira. And that, no, that wouldn't be you asking, that was me. Never mind, I'm drunk. You can have this 10mm pistol. How about a huh? This minigun. Which I was never going to use anyways. Laser pistol. And... Fat man. I thought I sold that. Anyways. All these mines. All these grenades. A hunting rifle. And... I'd say that's pretty good. You know these blood patches. I am not a vampire. Yet. Scotch. Have all this ultra jet. There you go. There you go. Pre war books. I can get some good money for those. Pre war money, though. You can take all that. Toy motorcycle. Oh boy. Well, what can you give me? Seeing as how I have now broken. Hmm. Fire hose nozzle. Here. I'll just take all your ammo. How about that? There you go. I like it. Good hunting. All right. See you around, Moira. See you on the flip side. Find a workbench. Where is a workbench? Does she have one? I think she does. <laughs> back in Moira's place. And we're back. Create superhero costume. Oh, I'm gonna try some stuff. Guess what I'm gonna do? Hoo hoo hoo. Charisma minus one, endurance plus one. DR20, holy crap. And six, so you can look like Shrek. Oh my god, I am a fancy dancy man. Look at me. Oh, I'm gonna try all the things now, buddy boy. <laughs> Adventures of Bucket Man. Adventures of Bucket Man. Watch as I jump off of buildings and jump around. Jump around. To jump around. Now, watch as I. Drink from this spurting pipe. Jump, jump, jump around. Jump, jump, jump around. Yeah. Watch as Linton follows me tirelessly because he has no brain. I removed it. Can't have someone thinking. That's for sure. Um, hmm. What do I want to do? What do I want to do? Steel fists of justice. What are they having me do now? Do I just never 
complete this quest. I found a workbench and made the stuff. Now what? Uh, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Um, sure, let's do this. Why not? Anchorage War Memorial. I have not been there. To Wilhelm's Wharf! Away! And into the water I go. Get up here, please. Please and thank you. Hopefully. Come on, come on. A little bit. Oh, God. What was that? What the heck was that? What just happened? Huh. Well, if I go in there with Lincoln and Marty, they're probably going to want to murder everybody. Speaking of Marty, where is he? Enemies are nearby. A. Hitman. That game just came out. Eat laser punks! Wow, they really did eat those lasers. Oh, jeez, what? What was that? Wow, you have a Pretty bad tan, sir. Just saying. Pulse mines. Eh, alright. What can do you with that? Hello, pile of ash. Oh, this guy had everything. Draw on tract of extermination. Wow, everybody apparently wants to kill me. That sounded like I just kicked it. Oh, hello there, bad tan man. Have you met my laser? Now you have. All right then. Where is Marty? I don't want to go in there because he's just going to start killing everybody. There you are, Marty. All right, you guys are not going to do the sexy walk. You are going to stay here and not do anything. No. No. Lincoln. Stop it. Lincoln, stop acting up. Lincoln, you're going to have to stay here. Whether you like it or not. Alright, I'm going in here. Don't follow me. I'm going to try not to kill anybody. Alright, good. Now then, I descend into Myrlet camp. Hello there, Myrlet. How are you today? Please don't kill me. Hello. Mind if I shove my hand in here? Oh, you don't, do you? I thank you. Hello. Goodbye. Ouch. Up the stairs. Around the corner. We're getting out of here scot free. Open door. 
loudest door on face of earth. I speak a good English. All right then. Who's over here? Centaur, who is spitting his crap at me. Oh, right in the face. Can you die, please? Finally. Good job, Lincoln. You get cookie when we get home. Wadsworth will mix it up right quick, lack. Marty, you done good. Thank you! <sighs> I thought I was going to sneeze a second time there. But I didn't. Funny how that works. Time to go tell Moira about our fantastic journey to the center of chocolate factories. Because I am a little kid. So are they intelligent? Do they have a leader? Some sort of king? Or priests? Or some sort of scaly community center? Actually, they hold mass. I slip the observer in with the aids, and they're none the wiser. Other than the fact that a human just ran in there, touched their aids, and ran out. I'll bet most people would have just gone in there, guns blazing without half a thought. But not you. You're the best research assistant ever. Damn straight. I'm getting a good signal. But what do you think about them from your first-hand observations of them? They descended from local crabs. I'd call them Scylla Cirata Horrendous. Because I know Latin. Scientific of you. Personally, I wasn't sure if they were crabs or if they came from some sort of brine shrimp rats. Some of these observations about their armor and camouflage gave me an idea for reinforced neutral colored headgear. Huh. Here, consider it thanks for not interfering with them. Oh, speaking of which, take these so you can continue to avoid them in the future. Huh. I suspect this completes the second chapter's research, correct? <laughs> correct as always. And your feedback's really led to a very smartly written book. Maybe too smart for some folks, I worry. Of course, if the reader can't be bothered to understand something important as a book on how to stay alive, then what can we do, huh? huh. And in case those readers blame you for their ignorance, here's your payment. Two big boxes of ammo. Now... On to the next chapter. Another one. Ooh, 80. I'm ready to start researching the last chapter. Finally. The last chapter is a bit more esoteric. It's about the survival of humanity as a whole. And how to rebuild society. Deep stuff, huh? Yeah. You need to know how large settlements are formed. How to harness the old technology. And I'll need you to get ancient history from a nearby library. We're in the last stretch now, so let's finish it up strong. What's first? Uh, old technology is no challenge for the mechanist. Wow, did the mod really put that in? That's fantastic. Oh, this is so exciting. I feel like I'm sending you out on some sort of super assignment. Okay, okay, give me a moment to calm down. Now then, after some searching, I got this Robco processor widget. Supposedly, if you connect it to the mainframe at the Robco factory, you can get access to an army of robots. What? Seems like it's right up your alley, huh? And it'd be a great example of how to harness technology, wouldn't it? Yep, yep. Just go in and connect the widget to the mainframe? I can do that. Yeah, you should just be able to plug it into the mainframe at the Robco production facility. It'll give you access to the robots and terminals. Okay, here. And be sure to keep an eye peeled for any other examples of how to make old technology work for you out there. Alright then. So long. See ya.